welcome back to At Home with me, Emily Arrow, and my ukulele named Bo. Today we have some very exciting things happening. A guest star is coming on the show, and you heard it right, a star. So you'll see. Let's sing together the At Home song. I'm at home and you're at home. We're all at home together. If you're back and I already see lots of friends tuning in, I'm so glad that you're here today. We're going to do some singing, some moving, and we're going to sing the Don't Hide Your Magic song too. Hello, hello. song. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. Wake me up before you go, go. I want to sing a song. All right, let's try that. So I had two hands. Wake me up like you just woke somebody up and they hopped out of bed ready to sing a song. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. Wake me up before you go, go. I want to sing a song. Now this part's funny. You're going to ask the question, will you sing along? And you're going to sing really high on along. So our voices have to go up really high. Okay, let's try it. Wake me up. Before you go, go, don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. Wake me up before you go, go. I want to sing a song. Will you sing along? <laughs> if you sang along, touch your head or your hat. Notice I'm wearing a hat today because in the song, Don't Hide Your Magic, the question is, if you were a wizard, would you wear a hat? If I was a wizard, this would definitely be the kind of hat I would wear. These are my favorite kinds of hats. And if you are a wizard today, go grab a hat while we sing our morning song one more time. It can be any kind of hat. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. Wake me up before you go, go. I want to sing a song. Get ready to go high. Will you sing along? All right, I'm gonna add bow. Maybe you're getting your hat right now. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. Wake me up before you go, go. I wanna sing a song. Will you sing along? I know that lots of you will sing along because you're here to be my sing-along friends today. And speaking of my sing-along friends, I've gotten quite a few questions over the weekend and this week that I finally want to get to. This question is from David and Douglas. And David and Douglas are wondering, have I ever ran a one mile race? I haven't, but I love this idea. I really love doing things outside. And if you run for a whole mile, that might take a little bit of practicing. So I'd love to try and practice so that I could run in a, an even in a race. That's a really cool idea, David and Douglas. I'm wondering if you've ever run in a one mile race. And another question from Mackenzie and Connor. They're wondering, when you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? I love this question because I wanted to be a few different things. When I was little, I loved singing, which you can guess. So I knew I wanted to be a singer, but I also loved reading. So my other idea was that I was going to be a writer and then I also loved dolphins. So my other idea was that I wanted to be a dolphin trainer. And I am a singer and a writer. I'm not a dolphin trainer yet. <laughs> I still love dolphins though. I love animals a lot. I'm wondering what are some things that you'd like to be when you grow up? But most importantly, how do you want to be when you grow up? And I remember when I was a kid thinking, when I grow up, I really want to be kind and I want the friends in my life to know how much I care about them. I remember thinking how excited I was to grow up and be an adult who lives in the world. Still, the same person that I was 
even though I maybe don't actually train dolphins now, I still have that in my heart. That's still who I am, a person who loves animals. So think about how do you want to be? All right, let's try another question. Theo, why is your ukulele named Bo? Haha, <laughs> that's a good question. Well, my name's Emily Arrow, and maybe you've heard of the phrase bow and arrow, because bows and arrows go together. Like if you're trying archery and you try a little arrow that goes at the target, then you might pull your arrow back with a bow. Well, this is not an archery bow. So I put this kind of bow on bow so that it could be a different kind of bow and arrow, because I think they go together. If you have an instrument at home, even your macaroni shaker, which I still have, so don't worry. Think about a name for that if you haven't already named it. And maybe it could be something that goes with your name. All right, Summer and Hazel are wondering, what's my favorite thing about spring? They like how the rain makes their flowers grow. That's awesome. I love that about spring too. I love something about spring that is the weather is different every day. I think noticing the changes is really fun. Like yesterday here, there was a little bit of hail. There was ice, little balls of ice coming out of the sky, but then it was super sunny and there are still flowers. Spring is special like that. It's kind of magical. All right, a few more questions. Summer and Hazel's mom is saying that their household grew up listening to Rafi too. They finally got to meet him last summer. Have I ever met him? And would I consider performing one of his songs? So I also grew up listening to Rafi. He's one of my favorite musicians, and I love his music so much. And I was thinking maybe that we could sing one of his songs soon called Down by the Bay, because it has a lot of rhymes in it. So I really like that suggestion. I've never met Rafi, but I hope I do one day too, just like you. Okay, one last question from Owen. What is your favorite food? It changes all the time, but right now my favorite food is avocados. I love avocados in the spring. I like to put them on bread and sandwiches. I like to put them salty to make them sweet with honey. So yummy. All right, now let's try inviting our special guest star along with us today. And I'm calling this person a star for a very particular reason. It's kind of silly. So we have to sing our If You Can Hear Me song to invite our guest star, I almost said their name, to join us. So I'm going to give our guest star a ringy ding ding. Here we go. If you can hear me touch your head, if you can hear me blink your eyes, if you can hear me air high five, High five. Now I can see our guest star, but I know that our friends can't yet, so we have to keep singing. And if you can hear me clap three times, he's almost here. Two thumbs up if you're ready to sing. Imagine there's a book in your hands to read. Open it up and say hello to your friends. Story time, sing along, starts again. He's almost here. Our guest star is on their way. We're going to have to sing one more time until we can all see them. If you can hear me, touch your head. If you can hear me, blink your eyes. If you can hear me, air high five. And I think our special guest star is coming so soon. And there you are, Brad Montague. <laughs> Oh, hi, Emily. It's so good to see you. It's so wonderful to see you, a shining star on our show this morning. Oh, oh, this? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought that it would, it would be fun to be a guest star today because... You do so. You have so many magical people on your show. I wanted to fit in. You do fit in, especially as a star. I I know that there's always a star happening inside you, and today I get to see it in full attire. <laughs> uh, same to you. I like your sweatshirt and your hat. Thanks. I tried to dress like a star also, so we could color coordinate. And. <laughs> And this is the best day. And we have friends watching, which is just so fun. 
We have so many friends and they're writing comments that they really like your outfit so I had to let you know how excited they are about you being a star today. Could you do a little star dance so we could see the whole thing? Yeah, I'll go back. Bowie's sounding better than ever. Oh, thank you. And I wanted to ask a question because I noticed you're in a very special looking space. And my guess is that you're in a place called a studio. Are you? I am. Yes, this is my studio. It's where we make fun things for kids and people who used to be kids. We draw, we use our cameras and we take pictures and make videos. And I've even been trying to learn how to make cartoons, but it takes a lot of time. Yeah, those things do. And also, I know that that might be a place where you just worked on something special to you, a book that's about how to be even better grown-ups if you're a person who used to be a kid. And that came out just yesterday, right? Yeah, I have a book. Can you show it to us? I'll be right Sure. <laughs> wow, I can see there's like a spaceship back there. <gasps> Becoming better grown-ups. He's holding the real book. Oh, it's my gosh. It's a real Look, it took a long time, and you know what? What? It, uh, there's a part in the book at the very end where you say thank you to people who helped you write it. You know, because the author's name usually gets on the cover. Right there, but Brad Monster. It's really not just the author. There's lots of people who help make books, mm -hmm. and there's actually. <clears throat> it's not a spoiler. I'm not ruining the whole book to read the end, but there's a part here, and it says. Let's see. Oh, thank you to Emily Arrow. That's me. That's you. Yeah, oh there's a part in here about an adventure you and I went on where we sang a song for uh, a wonderful lady who wrote music. Oh my gosh, Brad, this is so yeah. special. I can't wait to read this book myself and share it with friends. And I'm honored that I'm included in your book. This is the first time for me. Yeah, of course. It was really um, a fun thing to write a book. I always, my whole life, wanted to be able to write a story because when I was in fourth grade, I was writing stories and my teacher said that they were funny and that she liked them. And I decided that day I wanted to do that forever. But I'm still figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Well, we were actually, right before you, you came on and joined us, I was answering a question from someone who wrote it and they asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, when mm -hmm. I was a kid. And I shared a few things. One might be a surprise, the other two aren't, that I wanted to be a singer and a writer like you. I also wanted to be a dolphin trainer. That's the surprising one. And then we were saying, you know, what also really matters is who you want to be when you grow up. That's kind of what matters yes. the most. And I think really something neat, Brad, when you and I met for the first time, we were backstage getting ready to sing a song. And I remember us saying, this is so much fun and it's so easy to connect when you're doing something creative. And yeah. that's about who you want to be when you grow up. Because if I was a dolphin trainer or if I am a singer, then you get to do things that you love because you are being creative. You're being that person you wanted to be. Was there anything else kind of like a writer that you also thought about being that maybe you still kind of are? Yeah, I think there's lots of things that maybe kids have right now that they don't need to grow out of. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things that grown-ups have that maybe they have grown out of and that they, they need back. Mm -hmm. And when I was a kid, I loved to play and um, use my imagination to create worlds and things and so I've been trying to do that more and you said be behind me can you see that there's a rocket ship okay that is so fun I just want to climb inside of that yes, I have a little boy and a little girl and they said they wanted to go to space so we got some cardboard and we created that it's kind of small right there 
But it's very fun. And we've been exploring all the kinds of things you can make out of anything you want. And we use old keyboards. Ooh, here, can I show you something else I made in one? Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> this is actually something my wife made. And it is a cardboard TV. We're on air. <laughs> I love and this. It has a little knob. And so what's even better than a real TV is one in which you can just imagine what you want to be on it. Way better. That is so fun. I bet a lot of our friends watching could try that too. Yeah, it's pretty much anything you can dream up. And so one of the things that I'm still learning is that you can create the world you want to live in. With the people that are around you. It's so true. We can create it. And speaking of creating the world that we want to live in, there was a project that Brad had created and shared that I created a song about, and we've been singing about it here last week, so I'm excited that we can talk about something that you created and brought into our world, which is the poem, and there's an illustration, of Don't Hide Your Magic. Yes. That was one of the best days ever when you said that you had a song about something I had written. And that's what's even more fun than making something is when one of your friends sees the thing you made and go, ooh, I have an idea too. And then it makes something even bigger than both of you. I had this idea about a wizard who is really powerful. And it was a story. And the idea is that this wizard is super powerful except he's also really forgetful. And, <laughs> and what if maybe everybody's like that, like you and me, that we're all really, really magical people, but we forget it sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that would be sad. And so this is a poem, and it's Don't Hide Your Magic, Please Share Your Gift. Seeing you shine gives the whole world a lift. It's okay for wizards to be quiet, or shy, but hiding your magic is a crime. And here's why. Because the world needs to dazzle. We need what you've got. You might think that you're nothing and really you're not. You're more, much more, and it's time to be seen. You're more powerful than you can imagine, more loved than you can dream. So if you feel less than, or maybe that you don't count, or maybe your soul is all flooded with doubt, remember the magic. You're equipped, you're prepared. And never forget, magic is meant to be shared. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is so, so meaningful. That really inspired me today. Let's try the song about it too. And I, I think, Brad, when I first read this poem, I also saw an illustration of a wizard that had a hat on. That's also why I'm wearing my hat today. Because if I was a wizard, this is the kind of hat I would wear. <laughs> and I remember feeling like the magic that I had that sometimes I don't share is a new song. Sometimes I write a song and I kind of keep it because I'm nervous about, well, I don't know if, if someone would really like it. Or I don't know if I did all of the fancy things that might make it sound like the best yep. song ever. And so when I was thinking about it, I was thinking, if I were a wizard with a magic of a song, here's what I would need to hear, that you've already got it, and you've got friends who are magic and cheering you on, and you can do this. So that's what the poem really inspired in me. So let's try the Don't Hide Your Magic song. And while we're doing this, Brad, maybe you can help our friends with their wizard wands. They can use... An imaginary sure. one, or do you have anything lying about you could use? <laughs> this his studio is so fun to look around in. I can't even imagine all the things that must be there. And friends, while you're getting your wands, you can use anything. We might remember that this goes with the xylophone that I've been playing this week. So when I go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It's really fun to, whoa, look at this 
his wand. This is one my daughter made. So she took a pencil and some tape, and she drew a picture of a heart with a rainbow on it. And she is five years old now. She just turned five, and this is hers. And she waves this around. So maybe there's ways you could make your own at home. Very simple, but really fun. That's so much fun. This is just a normal pencil, but it's still magic too. Mm -hmm. You can write with it. Mm -hmm. We have so many options and really fun ones today. So I'm going to take this pencil and draw while you sing. How about that? Love. This is exciting. All right, Brad's going to draw. We're going to use our wands or our pencils or anything you'd like. Even a finger works really great as a wand. And when we go, oh, 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 we make a Z in the air. Oh, 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 wave your wand. Oh, 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 anytime you want. Oh, oh, oh. So whenever you hear those O's, you can wave your wand. Bring some magic to the song. All right. Are you ready to do some drawing today, Brad, the star? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to hear this song and see the magic. Oh, if you were a wizard, would you wear a hat? If you were a wizard, would you fly so high and so fast? If you were a wizard. And if you were a wizard, would you talk to the moon? If you were a wizard, would you cast a spell or two? your magic and you shared that song thank you the same here and actually i think bo had a note for you it fell out of bo's pocket hold on bo always is writing notes to people and had a special note for you brad and it says thank you for sharing your magic with the world brad thank you that means a lot I'm grateful for you, and I think right now, because of what you're doing, there's lots and lots of kids and, and former kids who are going to be sharing their magic a lot more, and that's a pretty cool thing. Keep going, pal. So, thanks. The same, and I really hope you wear that star all day long, Brad. <laughs> I might. I might. There's actually a window here, and I think everybody driving by can see me, so... That would be a nice, cheery spot in someone's day, to just see a star. <laughs> it was a 
cheery spot in my day, and I'm sure in everyone who's watching today. And Brad, we are going to check out your book. I'm really excited that I'm part of that too, and I can't wait to read all of the stories in it. And I'm so glad you were here with us. Thank you for being our guest star today. My honor. <laughs> I'll see you next time, Brad. Yes, see you, friend. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was by far my favorite star, Brad Montague. We are very lucky that we got to visit his studio today and sing the Don't Hide Your Magic song. That's also on my album, Storytime Sing Along Volume 2. It's the one that's white with light colored drawings on it. And let's sing a little bit more before it's time to go. We answered some questions today, and it's going to be a short one because tomorrow we have an episode with a pop-up of some booksellers who are going to tell us about their favorite books when they were kids and their favorite picture books now. And then on Friday, we're going to have a music video, Aloha Friday Sing Along. I'm very excited. So let's try one more song today before it's time to go. And this is a song that we were practicing last week too, Dance Like the Sun. Since we were just singing about stars, I was thinking we could do the freeze dance about the sun. So we're going to have to practice our movements. Dance like the sun. So let's try that together. Dance like the sun. Now we're going to sway like a palm tree. And sway like a palm tree. Now show me your sharks. Groove like a shark. And now open up your arms and you're going to go surfing. Surf out on the waves. That's how you play this game. If you're standing up, you can do a full surfing with your whole body. If you're sitting down, like me, you can just use your arms. All right, back to Dance Like the Sun. Dance like the sun, and now we're going to sway. Sway like a palm tree. Shark, groove like a shark. Arms out and surf out on the waves. That's how you play this game. Ready? Now whenever I say freeze, whatever you're doing, you freeze. So if you're in the middle of the sun, you freeze like the sun. If you're in the middle of the shark, you freeze like the shark. If you're surfing it out, you freeze while you're surfing. Okay, here we go. Oh, dance like the sun. Show me dancing like the sun. And sway like a palm tree. Keep your palm trees swaying. Groove like a shark. And surf out on the waves. That's how you play this game. Till I say freeze. You gotta stand so still, not a move anyone. Until you hear me strum. Dance like the sun. Shark, show me your sharks and surf out on the waves. Freeze, freeze like a surfer. That's how you play this game. All right, we need our silly faces. You're silly like a sea horse, and you're wiggly like an anemone. Wiggle it out, wiggle like an anemone, like sea anemone. You're back to your surfboard, out there on your surfboard till it's time to freeze. Go to sleep. Not a peep. Like a palm tree, freeze. Groove like a 
make a shower crease and surf out on the waves. That's how you play this game, crease. Round of freeze dance applause. That was so much fun. I am excited to see you back here tomorrow. We have a song to finish up. Oh, I'm at home and you're at home. We're all at home together. One more time. I'm at home and you're at home. We're all at home together. Oh, we need to send our arrows up into the air. Then we can say farewell. All right, on the count of three, we'll send our arrows into the air. Because the music in me sees the music in you. On the count of three, one, two, three, whoosh. I'll see you tomorrow.